السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے اور ٹاپک از انٹروڈکشن ٹو سیل تھیوری آئی ایم پروفیسر ڈاکٹر نسیم اسلم چنا فرام انسٹیٹیوٹ آف بایو کیمسٹری یونیورسٹی آف سندھ جام شورو دس کورس از آؤٹ لائنڈ ان یور سلیبس بایو تھری ہنڈریڈ تھری ہنڈریڈ ٹویلو اینڈ ایٹ از آف دی بی ایس Now the cell was first discovered and named by Robert Hooke in 1665. He remarked that it looked strangely similar to cellular or small rooms. Hooke actually saw the dead cell walls of plant cells that was of the cork and he sliced the, uh, some cork and then he placed under microscope which was made by him. It appeared under the microscope like rooms or honeycomb. Hooke's description of these cells was published in micro, Micrographia, which was at that time on a research journal. He thought that uh, cells only existed in plants and fungi. This one is the pictorial view of Robert Hooke in 1665, which indicates its uh, microscope, which compound microscope, which was made by him uh, and his uh, renowned uh, experiment, which was of the slice of cork was taken. And uh, then the cork cells were, were appeared in this form and under his microscope. Now, the first man to witness a live cell under a microscope was Anton Leeuwenhoek. In the uh, 1670s, he started to explore microbial life with his microscope. Using single lensed microscopes of his own design in 1674, when Leeuwenhoek uh, was the first to experiment with microbes. He observed in Pondiscum some tiny single cell organisms and uh, which he named as animalcules from uh, Latin word animalculum, which means tiny animal. He observed blood cells in fish, birds, frogs, dogs, and humans. So it was known that cells were present in plants as well as animals. And other person was uh, Matthew Schildern. He was the general uh, German botanist and uh, he uh, had uh, looked at many slides of the plant tissues. In 1838, he concluded that all the plants are made up of cells. Another uh, German scientist studied animals, observed many different kinds of cells and stated that all animal tissues are made up of cells and that was the uh, Theodor Schwann. Now, Schildin in 1838 uh, discovered the plant cell, whereas Schwann in 1839, a year uh, after the Schildin um, discovery of the plant cell, the Schwann discovered animal cell. After that, the Rudolf Virchow, uh, he was a physician, pathologist, and anthropologist, uh, expounds his famous conclusion in 1855 that the omnicellular e-cellula, that means that is cells developed from only from the existing cells. So we can say that cells come from pre-existing cells. It was the Rodolf Vico, he uh, concluded this point. So, uh, Rodolf Vico concluded that cells develop from the other cells. So the cell theory will become consisted of three parts. And number one is all living things are made up of cells. It was, this point was uh, discovered by the Sheldon and Schwann in 1838 to 39. 
and another point which was uh, by the same scientist was the cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life and the third point which was concluded by the virko in 1858 it was all cells come from pre existing cells so the modern cell theory will become uh, consisted of four statements number one statement is the cell contains hereditary information uh, which is passed on from cell to cell during cell division another point is all cells are basically the same in chemical composition and metabolic activities so all the chemical composition uh, in all cells and the metabolic activities they are those are carried out in a cell are same all basic chemical chemical and physiological functions are carried out inside the cells so all the chemical reactions chemical means these metabolic activities they are uh, carried out inside the cell and all the uh, physiological functions like movement digestion these are also taken place inside the cells the cell activity depends on activities of subcellular structures within the cell uh, so all the activities uh, are uh, of all the organelles they are also depending upon the uh the, the the cell activity depends on the uh, activities of the subcellular or the activities of organelles that is nucleus plasma membrane uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus and uh, so on so the current interpretation of modern cell theory will become uh, can be interpreted in these points that the cell represent the elementary unit of construction and function in living organisms and all the cells come from the division of pre existing cells the other point is energy flow that is metabolism metabolism and biochemistry happens within cells so energy will come out or uh, it is taken out uh, from the metabolic processes or the biochemical processes Uh, within the cells the cells contain genetic information in the form of dna passed on from cell to cell during uh, the during that cell division in the organisms of similar species all cells are fundamentally the same it means that uh, all the organ in all organisms the all the cells are fundamentally means basically they are same but uh, more or less the number of mitochondria the number of um, uh, other things they are they may vary according to the function all living organisms consist of one or more cells and uh, the some cells like unicellular organisms consist of only one cell but other uh, living entities are multicellular so containing multi uh, multiple cells the living organisms activities depend upon the combined combined actions of individual independent cells so all the activities of the living organisms they depend upon the combined action of the uh, of these uh, all these cells now this one is the cell timeline uh, it started from 1595 uh, with the creation of the compound microscope and then uh, the of uh, the the description of cell in the cork and uh, after that uh, the bacteria was seen uh, after uh, some 9 years later and uh, after that in 1833 uh, the cell nucleus was discovered in 1838 the cell theory was pro proposed after that uh, the um, sperm cells and egg cells uh, were also known to be cells uh, in 1840 and in 1856 the uh, the sperm cell how it is penetrated in the egg cell it was observed in 1858 the uh, the uh, cells come from pre existing cells was uh, that conclusion was also discovered by the virko after that 18 in 1857 uh, 
uh, the mitochondria was discovered. In 1879, uh, the chromosome's behavior during mitosis was also described. In 1883, the germ cell uh, or uh, haploid chromosome theory of heredity was discovered. In 1898, Golgi apparatus was described. In 1938, the uh, nuclei was uh, separated from the cytoplasm. In 1939, the semen produced the first commercial transmission electron microscope. So, uh, electron microscope was discovered. In 1952, uh, the continuous human cell line was uh, described uh, by some of the scientists. In 1955, the uh, animal cells uh, were, the nutritional needs of the animal cells were described uh, or, the def or they were defined. In 1957, the the nucleic acids were separated in 1965 the uh, serum free medium was defined and uh, first commercial scanning electron microscope was produced in 1976, uh, some scientists showed that uh, different cell lines require different mixtures of hormones and growth factors in serum-free media. In 1981, transgenic mice and uh, fruit flies were produced and uh, mouse uh, embryonic stem cell line was established. In 1995, the, the enhanced spectral properties uh, of the mutant were uh, discovered. And in 1998, the mice were cloned from the somatic cells. In 1999, uh, the siRNA is part of post transcriptional gene silencing in plants was described. Now, how big are cells? The cells are smallest, uh, the smallest, uh, ever smallest pre-living cell is myco mycoplasma genitalium. Its size is 0.2 to 0.3 microns. The bacteria E. coli uh, is the size is one micron to th three micron, uh, whereas the human red blood cells are of eight micron in diameter. The largest cell on the human body is ovum and its size is 100 micron in diameter, which is uh, equal to one millimeter in diameter. The smallest cell in the human body is a sperm cell. The largest cell is uh, the yolk of an ostrich. Thanks for watching.